Hey guys! Hi guys! Okay, so Nicole here, Harper here. Welcome to our channel if you're new. We're gonna do a little bit of a different style video as you guys may have assumed from our last couple videos if you're like, you know, one of our subscribers or if you've tuned into us. We kind of yeah. just do whatever is on our minds, whatever type of videos that we're feeling, and um, whatever pertains to us at that given time. So today, the type of video that we're gonna do is actually a homeschooling video. Um, Harper was homeschooled this year. We made the decision after um, they were sent home for, they called it distance learning um, in March of 2020. And um, basically they sent home like a packet of stuff for her to do and me being a teacher by trade I thought okay cool like, let's make it you know I did like lesson plans with the materials that they sent home um, and not yet and I loved that um, and then eventually they did send home tablets for them um, to log on to school yeah. and do but they were not they didn't introduce any new concepts it was all whatever they had already learned it was kind of like activities that went along with what they've already knew and whenever they were doing e-learning that way they did not do any zoom classes they had not gotten um google meet up and running yet so it was really just kind of like the kids doing apps type of thing so um I kind of just kept going with like homeschooling using the materials that they had sent home from school from last year. And Harper, I don't know, you can talk and say how you feel, but I felt even within the first two weeks, I felt like homeschooling with her, I just felt like it clicked. I felt like this is what we're supposed to be doing. This is what works for Harper. She does awesome at home. Like I was amazed by, um, by seeing what she could do because I really wasn't getting that great of feedback from teachers and stuff like that. Um, I, I, so like, like, like sometimes one time, like, like I, uh, so I had these bad notes and good notes, but like I used to get like so much bad notes. Well, that was, that was, they tried to start a new system of learning there. They were introducing dual language into our, our, um, school district and this teacher that they had brought on board, um, said that she was with the program, but wasn't hundred percent with the program. Ready, she like. wasn't, it wasn't her forte and she's not there anymore, but, um, Harper really wasn't succeeding in that class. And I tried to work with the teacher. I tried to be as involved as possible to get down to what the problems were. Um, because she was just sending her home with these yellow, they call them yellow notes and I, I yellow think they yellow were note. red, red notes. You never, you got like one or two red notes. Never. Yeah. There wasn't that many, but, um, I'm the type of parent that's like, hello, what, ha what's going on at school? I need to know what's going on. I will correct it at home. We will, there are consequences. We need to get down to the bottom of what's happening. Um, and the teacher would just say, oh, you know, it's just like age appropriate stuff. You know, like she had a hard time focusing or, you know, she kept dropping her crayon on the floor and um like, just stuff I, like I was like I like as a teacher this is on the floor as a teacher like, these are things that I feel like are normal and like maybe engagement was an issue but um my mom I was working at the time in my own classroom my mom was able to go in and observe and she just said that the room was chaos so luckily the school that I was working with the school to figure out what the solution might be and she was switched she ended up being switched to another amazing classroom with a yes, fantastic love... teacher who we loved. And I wish I could clone her and have her every single year. She yeah. was on board with Harper's. Harper has a hearing loss. Yes, And so I that do. does affect um, some of the things, some of the, some of how she is, some of how she learns, some of the ways that she yeah. learns best. Yeah. So we had a 504 plan in place even before kindergarten. And sometimes it was hard for the teachers to get on board with that or integrate it with all the children and every all the other issues that they're dealing with on a daily basis. And um, so in first grade, which is when COVID happened, in first grade, the teacher was a really great teacher. Um, yeah. We liked her a lot. Yeah. But it just... Um, it took a long time for Harper to catch her stride in that classroom, and they finally actually hooked her up with an FM system where the teacher would wear a microphone, and she, the, the, um, she's not wearing she, her hearing aids right now, but. But they're blue, mm -hmm. but, and she actually could hear, because I, 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 I had trouble, I have, I had trouble with 
it feel I felt like my 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 hearing aid were um running out of battery every like five minutes. So we we kind of are just um what's it called? We kind of just uh told told our hearing. Uh, I have a hearing teacher that like 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 kind of helped me with spelling and and that stuff but she actually is a hearing teacher she's a really get, great advocate and she can understand whenever there's certain issues happening and it's not like you know sometimes with teachers they have so much going on so much on their plate and so whenever we had problems with the hearing aids it kind of was like they just didn't know what to do with that so the hearing aid tenant was really great she got us hooked up with the fm system so the teacher would wear the microphone and then whatever they spoke would go straight to harper's hearing aids so in a classroom it, it was where like it was like um, a, a wireless, like, like one. Wireless, because, yes, Because it was, wireless. it was wireless because it connected to my hearing aids and... And with her hearing aids, uh, some of the problem was that whenever she was in a classroom and there was a lot of noise and a lot of distraction going on, um, she, she would just, I would Harper would just get, either get distracted or she would focus in really hard on her work. And so when somebody would speak to her, whether it be a child or a teacher... Um, she didn't really recognize that somebody was trying to t talk to her because she would just um, basically drown everything else out and just focus on what she was focused on. So, and sometimes that was focusing on a friend talking instead of the teacher talking. So the FM system, when it was finally um, introduced in like January, um, it was like, oh, the teacher was like, oh my gosh, I see such a difference. And then the FM system like broke or something or the battery kept dying. And so then mm -hmm. they stopped that for a few minutes and then, or not a few minutes, a few, uh, few days or whatever. Then they finally I, got it back up and working again. And then COVID hit. And um, we, I say all that to say, you know, we, we've worked really hard to make um, school work, right? Like we've, we've done a lot of different things. And, and whenever we were home for COVID... We just realized, like, this is awesome. Like, this is fun. School is fun. At least yeah. for me. I really liked working with her. I don't know how you felt. But I just felt like it wasn't such, school wasn't such a stressor. She was learning. She was progressing. And I was just, like, blown away by how positive of an experience it was being home with her. And so um, moving forward into second grade, knowing that it was going to be e-learning again, and knowing that if we were going to go back to school, it was going to be... With masks. people wearing masks on, and I, I wasn't sure. I do not sure. like wearing masks because because it just like it's so hot. It it's really hard because it it will pile on. She was worried about hot. it being. Yeah. What I was more so worried about, and what Robert was more so worried about, was the fact that because she has hearing loss already, and because you know she's got the hearing aids, and she relies sometimes a lot on. Um, eye contact and facial expressions and sometimes even I don't think she notices that she does it but she does look at people's lips when they're talking and I'm sure that the teachers would have maybe try maybe we couldn't like force it to happen but it's a possibility that the teachers would have gotten the clear masks so that she could see their lips um, but we just felt I just felt my husband just felt she wanted to yeah um, do homeschooling and so that is why we chose to do homeschooling for um, this year for her second grade. So, without further ado, this has been Finally. a long intro, intro as to why we chose to homeschool, but um, I wanted to talk about our curriculum choices So um, for second grade, and then maybe in the future we can talk about um, next year because we have chosen for her at this point in time. You have? We've chosen to for her to be homeschooled for third grade. I thought Dad didn't want to. We'll see. Dad is kind of hesitant because I think he... We never were going to be a family that was like a homeschool family. I never thought <laughs> that we were going to homeschool. I always, I'm a big believer in public school. Um, uh, and I never had anything against it. I was always on the side of working with the school to solve our problems and to move forward. But like, sometimes I just feel like as a parent, you get a piece that comes over you and it, it something almost clicks and it's like, this is right. This feels right. This feels good. And that's how I feel. Um, and that's how I feel about going forward. And I don't know how many years this will last. I don't know how, you know, how far into her education we're going to go with homeschooling. But I just feel like at this point in time, while I have the opportunity to be home and not working, I feel like homeschooling is the way to go for her. Sadie is still in um, public schooling. And Stella, whenever she gets up to that, that point, she'll probably go to public school. 
Um, Mom, but I just question. for Do for I right have now. Teeth? No, you just have regular teeth. Um, don't worry about your teeth, okay, baby. Um, I feel like for right now, for Harper, this is the way to go. So, let's start talking about the curriculum. I think. Okay. All right. So my we, dad have, has been like going back and forth. Yeah, he's kind of going back and forth because, like I said, we were always. We never thought, like, okay, we're going to have kids home all the time once they reach school age. Like, now, Stella's going to be home regardless, so <laughs> we're going to, it's not going to be an empty nest if they're at school. Stella's going to be home regardless, but, um, so you still you know, have I think have he's some, still like, kind of, I think he's still kind of, like, um, you know, maybe, back and, it goes back and forth, but I, lately, I think he's kind of come around to the idea of her homeschooling for next year, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Um, this was just to start off. So I don't know. I feel like, should we make a, should we make like this a part one and then do a part two where we actually talk about the curriculum? Cause it's already 11 minutes. I feel like it's going to take us a long time. Um, yeah. Okay. All right guys. So sorry. The name of this video will probably be something like why we decided to homeschool. Um, and then because, in part two, yeah, we'll talk because, about the actual curriculum well, choices yeah, that we did, because, that we had. And we'll talk about how Harper felt about those, those subjects. Yeah. Sound good? Because because our, this video is already 11 minutes. So, sorry for the misleading title. Yeah. <laughs> but, or, not, because I'm going to title it something different, but I'm sorry for the misleading intro, because I thought we were going to talk about the curriculum, but yeah. we just got off topic. We got to talk, talking about why we made this decision in the first place. So, anyways, we'll do a part two, and in our part two, we'll talk about our um, curriculum choices. Um, yeah. So, stay tuned for that. And it might be today, because we're... We're, um, we're here. Remember the the other time we did that filming? We just snap, 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 snap through. So I think to, right now we're going to do. Like yeah, we're here. I've got the books right laid now. out. So yeah. I just don't want this to be a 30-minute video. And yeah. I think that that's what it will turn into. So we'll see you guys over in part two.